James Javier Barbour, figurative painter and sculptor, and founder and principal instructor of the Decor Atelier of Figurative Arts in Brooklyn, New York. Today I am here in my studio uh, attempting to stretch uh, Stonehenge oil paper by Legion uh, Paper Company over stretcher bars. Uh, I will be using these basic tools, one wooden stretcher, arrowhead staples, the T50 kind, one staple gun, paper towels, just in case there's a bit of a mess, uh, and also uh, a water bottle filled with just basic uh, purified water. And then last but not least, uh, some stretcher bar, uh, you know, canvas pliers uh, for stretching the paper over the stretcher bars. Uh, so we're going to see if it can be done. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Let's find out. So here I am, uh, I have Legion paper Stonehenge oil uh, right here in front of me. I've already pre-cut this uh, according to what I would like with the X-Acto blade. Uh, I'm going to place this stretcher bar face down, I'm making sure to have the, uh, the lip edge facing towards the canvas. I'm going to center it. And I'm leaving about an inch and a half or an inch or so uh, as I wish uh, around it. I'm not going to cut it too wide around it. I just want to have a certain amount of paper uh, around the edges uh, or borders of the canvas stretcher. Uh, and then from there, uh, you know, once I feel like I have the right amount of it, I'm just going to go ahead and spray the paper uh, because of the content of the paper uh, with a lot of cotton in the paper itself. It, would appear as if I have a mild chance at perhaps getting this to uh, stretch. So we will find out. I'm going to spread it over this. I'm just going to lightly wet the paper. Not too much, but just enough. Might wet it a little bit more, especially around the edges. And I think I want to wet the other side just a little bit too. Um, I just want to make sure that there's no surprises, uh, that I have the, the best chance at perhaps stretching this. It may come as a surprise to you that you could stretch a piece of paper. Um, however, I guess if there's enough cotton within the paper, it should sort of be able to handle this, uh, theoretically, but we will find out. And thank you to Stephen Bauman uh, and Michael at Legion Paper, um, who, uh, you know, brought this up as a possibility, and I just had to test it out, so here we go. Centering the stretcher bars. I'm going to begin by folding this side and taking my staple gun and firmly giving it a nice stretch. I'm going to take the canvas pliers and using this end I'm going to lightly tap it in. Then I'm going to turn it around this way and at the opposite end I'm going to go ahead and gently staple that side out. Then tap that in. Make sure it's firmly secure. Going to rotate it again. Uh, and this is where it becomes a little tricky. I'm going to have to carefully do this so that I don't tear the paper. Again, hit that. And we want to keep turning it like this as we stretch the canvas. Being very careful to stretch it on the opposite side of it and staple it directly opposite of that corner, other side. Then, if this is a much larger canvas, I would try to space it out uh, about four fingers apart from one another, or three fingers apart. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna space it out two fingers apart. Uh, so I just wanna kinda, you know, try that with this smaller canvas. 
going to give it a staple here, a staple here. Hammer it in just a little bit more. And I'm going to go to the opposite side and do the same thing. As I do this, I might gently take my canvas uh, pliers here and pull it just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to staple. Then I'm going to go to this side. I'm flipping it around, taking my canvas pliers, help stretch the paper just a little bit. I'm going to just gently tug on it just a bit. It shouldn't require too much of that. It's a small canvas. And I don't want to rip it. Now, at this point, I might take out uh, an exacto blade or something uh, to cut the corners. I think I might have one with me. Uh, if not, I will find one. Okay, so now I have my uh, exacto blade. I'm cutting it just a little bit at the corners like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it like this and staple it. Staple it there. See? And I want to create a very nice corner, so I'm going to fold it again at the corner. And maybe cut it just a little bit to trim this. Uh, I'm doing this because this is not actual linen or canvas uh, material and it's paper. So in order to create a nicer, neater corner, uh, we might have to adjust our strategy just a little bit in that sense. And I might even glue that corner down a little so that it creates a nice, neat fold, kind of like you're wrapping a present around the box uh, uh, with present uh, wrapping paper, right? Kind of imagine it's a cross between wrapping, uh, stretching canvas or linen over stretcher bars and maybe wrapping a present, right? It's a little bit of a both, of, of both things in my opinion. But so far so good, it seems to be working. I'm going to cut it just a little bit. Tearing it off just a little bit. Stapling the corner. As you can see, my corner is looking pretty neat. Almost done. Stapling this corner. Stapling it again, hammering it in just a little bit more, trimming the edges. Again, later on, uh, I would suggest maybe taking a little bit of Elmer's glue or something, or something archival, perhaps, uh, and just gluing the edges a little nicer at the end. Uh, but it seems to look pretty neat already. Stapling that corner, my final corner. Cutting it just a little bit. And then I'm going to staple that corner. And finally, at last, 
I trim this, and lo and behold, Stonehenge oil paper stretched around a stretcher bar. Usually uh, we do this with linen or some kind of textile material like uh, canvas, cotton duck canvas, but you know, in cotton duck there's cotton. And in this paper of Stonehenge oil, there is cotton as well. And with a little dampening of the paper and some care, you can successfully wrap it around the stretcher bar. So thank you, Stephen Bauman, painter, uh, fine art painter. And thank you, Michael, for bringing this up uh, into my attention. And this was a fun experiment. I hope you enjoy doing it as well at home. Take care and thank you.